music first. I'm a music lover. Everything I do, I try to make it go with the music. Hi, I'm John Sinclair. When you go to change a beat in music, you change the whole style. What does Detroit mean to you? I identify myself with Detroit. True that. We just taken the down blues and bring it up tempo. I love coming back to Detroit and performing. Did Detroit give anything to you? Any type of soul or fire? Well, that's what they had, yeah. I mean, I was able to enjoy it, participate and be part of it, and bring it up to modern music today. Detroit was one of the musical centers of the world, you know? Motown was emerged from here out of nothing. All of a sudden ruled the world. Let me see if I can give you something to remind you of back in those days. Let's first start with, uh, you know, a band that you had uh, a lot to do with, the MC5. Right, I was the manager of the MC5, yeah. You know the boy said it's burning, baby. A few of us banded together and formed this thing called the Detroit Artists Workshop. We were right off the Wayne State campus. That ain't a thing. God's white sky they can do. So this was like the seedbed of alternative culture in Detroit. And out of this, a lot of things came. The MC5 were attracted to this, moved into our neighborhood, became part of, we all became part of the same thing. Attitude, relentless attitude from the stand. Why was that important to you? Well, it was important to me because of the way I felt also. <laughs> We felt that America was in a terrible shape and it was going down the drain and somebody needed to say something and do something about it. The black freedom struggle was going on in the South, the integration of facilities, the war in Vietnam was starting to escalate, it was all wrong, and the bankruptcy of American intellectual life at that time, you know, basically. Tell me about John Lennon. He came to my rescue, he got me out of prison. It ain't fair, John Sinclair. What does it mean to me? It means everything to me. It was the happiest moment in my life so far. He got me out of prison. I was serving nine and a half to 10 years for two joints of marijuana. They gave him 10 for two. He got me out after two and a half years. I was a pretty happy guy. Let him be, set him free. Let him be like you and me. He took up my cause. He believed in it. He's a beautiful cat. This is my idea of a good time. That's the dance tempo you hear now. And I love being on stage doing my poetry with music. Just something they can dance to. I feel like I've done something, I've added something to the tradition that I entered into and was inspired by. We just changed the beat. It's no different. It's a thing, you know. <laughs> I don't know what you call a thing, you know. Cool beans.